sitting outside drawing the pipe, having some bubbly water. Um, I'm making this video because I'm kind of upset. I, um, I'm a big fan of a guy who has a channel, uh, Kenneth Kramer. And he's like, this guy would be the, the, uh, Mr. Rogers of the bushcraft outdoor camping. He, he's always polite. He's always in a good mood. He loves nature. It, it Maybe more than even I do. <laughs> he loves the outside. And about 2020, he slowed down making videos. And you can, you know, you can watch people and, and see that over the years their body change sometimes for the good sometimes for the worse and he definitely went downhill and had these medical issues well a couple of days ago he released a video about his channel in general and the update and his health condition and uh you know he He's blaming the, the health condition on, on parasite infections, right? So, you can look back through all my videos. I fish some swampy, stagnant, muddy water areas, and I never get in the water because it, it's not it, it it's not the gators you also have to look out for, or the snakes, or other poisonous reptiles. It's what's in the water that you can't see, bacteria, um, parasites. You know, you know, in high school, you go through biology and you learn about some of the parasites and, you know, you learn through stuff like that. But here in the South, man, our hot, doing like between June in like November, our hot, stagnant water is this breeding grounds for bacteria and parasites. I've caught fish before and pull them in and see wounds with worms in them on, a, on their, their sides of their body and stuff and throw them back and clean my hands because, you know, you know, it, it's, I watch these people noodling and people swimming in the bayous and all that. It just, it's a really bad idea. I've been lucky. Um, last year, I caught Bacillus, which is uh, a dirt um, waterborne uh, bacteria, and it jacked my leg up. You can still see all these dark spots right here on my leg. All these dark, I have light here, dark, and all that, scarred for life. What it did to my skin, the cellulitis. And so, I mean, it's that was, you know, that I knew about stuff like that and, and took precautions and still got something like that you know and he you no know, he talks about in his videos of that you know he just there's videos of him setting down in murky water with blue grills swimming around him and and walking Walking through moving clear water is not so bad as walking through swamp water or stagnant water or muddy water. It's just a lot of people don't think about it, but you know, this is an eye opener. This is, this is, this is, if you watch this video, this is me telling you it's a really bad idea because, you know, he, he said his doctor told him that he got it from all the years that he did outdoors and all that. And, you know, Cameron, camping, camping exposes you to stuff, but getting in, Swamp, stagnant, muddy water is what got him. And he talked about that too. And it's it's just a really bad idea. And if if you do it, I mean, parasites parasites can get in through your your eye glands. They can get in through your mouth, your nose. If you have any cuts on you, you scrape yourself on a branch and then get in the water, they can get into your bloodstream that way. I mean, this is an eye opener, people. This is, 
This is this messes you up. Now his pancreas has failed on him. And if you don't believe me, look it up. There's there's a type of worm that gets into your your pancreas and and destroys your pancreas, and then you you can't produce the enzymes the enzymes to to uh, to you know assimilate food anymore. No joke, man. I don't think enough people, I don't think enough people think about that enough. And I love the outdoors, man. I'm always in the swamps, but I never get in the water. And the only time I ever get in water, I fall in. And if I do fall in, if I do fall in, I have like, I keep rubbing alcohol in my car to, to wipe myself down with and kill any of those SOBs that's on my skin because, you know, it don't take much. The Bacillus I caught, I caught at Foss River standing at the boat dock. It was a little foamy water by the shore and I was standing there and I had to pull my kayak out of the, uh, out of the water. And I, I didn't, I didn't clean my leg. I had got in the car and drove home and didn't think about it. And the next thing I knew it, if it wasn't for antibiotics, I would have lost my leg. I would have lost my left leg. So, you know. It's one of those things of being ignorant of the fact will hurt you. talks about he's just going to do videos of um, videos of uh, uh, working with cameras and maybe cooking and doing stuff around the house but now I mean he can't his doctor told him you know he says it pretty much is his hiking and camping days is over with that's gotta be horrible that's gotta be horrible to not be able to do something you love the most Well, I just want to talk about that, you know, and like if you watch my channel, I'm, I'm telling you, stay out of the swamp water, do yourself a favor. <laughs>